Right, so I'm super excited about this next job. It's been on the cards for a while now. Classic restoration, no modern bells and whistles. Tell me a little bit more about this, this vehicle, Paul. Mate, we've got our customer Dave. He's driven this one up from Sydney mm -hmm. to be here in Queensland. He's driven it up. It's a ninth month. Uh, 1976 shorty mm -hmm. and his requirements are pretty much a nut and bolt ground up restoration on this one. So this little bad boy is going to look exactly the same as it did and feel exactly the same as it did as when it came out of the factory. The day coming out of the factory That's we're doing awesome, everything, man. the hood liner, the upholstery, everything. We're tickling the motor, we're not um, pulling the motor down. Yeah so just we take, we take all the ancillaries off. Yep. New, new, few new seals, paint the block, paint it make up. it look pretty. Yep. Because it's pretty good donk at the moment. I mean, we've it's heard it good, running. It's a sweet runner. Yeah. It's a good little motor. It's um a bit thirsty, so we might tune it up while mm -hmm. it's here and yeah, see yeah, if yeah. we can uh, get it down a bit. It's still a two F though. Yeah, that's the trouble. <laughs> but so, sandblast everything, all the panels, yeah, the chassis, fr um, three part epoxy. Well, we've had a um, discussion that it might have been in a rollover, it might have okay. been in an accident, so we're to we've really got to see him blast at the end and um, knock some bog out of it. Yeah, rear, the rear, I see the, one of the rear panels in the back there, it's a pretty cracked, caved you can in. see the, the, see the door. Yeah. So, uh, uh, there's some sort of cross bracing on the roof up here, so I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, it ain't a helicopter pad. No, no, it's certainly not. So yeah, no, I'm really looking forward to this one. Um, inside's totally bog standard, we're going to keep it that way. That way it's yeah. going to be such a sweet one, man. I can't wait to get into it. So, hang on a minute, I don't know if you can see it, but just around the front here, I've come out, I've done a bit of work out there, I've come back and I've seen that there's all the bezels been stripped down. What were you doing, Having getting itchy or Mate, were you nicking I'm a little bit part? excited, I've already started the tear down. Yep. Before, um, before he even uh, left, left the uh, premises. Yeah, fair enough. I'm, uh, I'm tucking straight into this one. No, that's awesome. Well, we'll get it back in the dismantling bay and we'll crack on with it. Eh? So, a few little tips to bear in mind when you're doing a resto on a 40 or any other vehicle for that matter. Um, get yourself some decent boxes. We've got some milk crates here, some cardboard boxes, some big, bigger plastic boxes for larger items. And then what we'll do, each box has sort of got a general location of the vehicle. So, for example, the cardboard box here is all to do with guards, front bib, uh, lights, all things on the outside of the front of the vehicle. And this milk crate, is all to do with the inside of the engine bay. So then what we've done, we've got some sandwich bags um, and simply get a bit of paper and pen and just write on the paper what bolts are in which, which bag. Uh, on this bag you can write on the outside, so exhaust components, now they stay there. And what we'll do later on, we'll go through and decide which, need, which, which parts need to go off for uh, electroplating or which parts go sandblasting uh, and get painted. Um, this bag here is a bit of a general bag, so a battery tray, brake line covers, front prop, prop shaft guard. Now they're all 12 mil heads, eight mil bolts by 1.25. And they're, they're all about the same length. So we'll probably use new bolts there because they're quite generic, but it just gives you an idea and a guide of, of what actually goes in those holes. So just make sure you itemize everything, write down clearly what they are. This is gonna help you out loads in the future and when you come to put this, this vehicle back together. So uh, yeah, use your common sense and uh, do a bit of the hard work first. It'll make it easy later on. Right, so for you guys that have done this before, pulling wires through a, a, a section of body where you can't get to it, when you come to put that wire back through again, it's a nightmare. So what I do is, I've got a bit of welding wire here, make sure it's long enough to go through and then be curled up attach it to the end that you're going to be pulling through just knock that like that right? and make sure that goes in okay now make sure you use a material that's going to um, withstand the sandblasting um, and then is small enough to not get in the way too much when they when the painter paints it right so we'll just just pull this through now go so we're there right probably got a bit too much so just come through I might do I'll put a little loop on the end all right that end and then do the same this end or 
just chop the excess off and then you can leave that like that throughout the sand bath process the, the painter or whatever will just make sure that that's not touching when it gets painted um, and then the reverse way around when it comes to putting it back in you just undo the end tie it back to the loom that you want pulled through happy days nice and easy it will save you a load of headache trust me Thank you.